All right, welcome back to the Tool World Podcast. I'm your host, David Jew, and I'm here with Master Jew. Hello there, Mr. Jew. Hello. All right, so I guess you were watching some TV the other day. Yes, of course, watching TV all the time. <laughs> it had some slight <laughs> martial arts in it. Uh, yeah, actually, I've been watching a lot of Korean drama. Just a little, it's different. Yeah. Like you have to read the subtitles. Right, right. And uh, well, it's, it's kind of cool, though, because uh, some of these uh, shows... I forget what the show is called. Um, has some taekwondo or martial art. You know? Yeah. But it's really you can look at it and you go, oh, that's more taekwondo. Yeah. Just the the style you can tell. Well, obviously it's Korean drama. You know, those guys yeah. probably do taekwondo. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and um, yeah, one of the shows was this guy was it was about so it was a story where he got beat up and he came back to life and he's fighting again this guy and. Mm -hmm. He thought he was training harder to beat, to be able to beat that guy. Mm -hmm. And um, so what's the point? So what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> so he was training harder. Oh, and... you want me to explain the yeah, story? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, oh. exactly. So he's, um, he's finding the guy again. And uh, the bad guy who says, you sure you want to fight? Basically, it's kind of like, are you sure you want to fight? Remember, this is not a game. This is life or death. He says, yeah, I'm ready for you. Okay, let's go. And so he's fighting him, and he's being able to do stuff. He puts him in a submission hold. And the next thing you know, it, that guy grabs some dirt on the floor and throws it in his face. Mm -hmm. And it distracts him, and he was able to get out of the submission hold. And then the guy, the good guy, says, that's cheating. <laughs> right? And he says, this is not a game. Right. Right. And so... The point about what, what we're kind of talking about really is that when it comes to self-defense, it's whatever goes. I mean, I kind of always say, kind of say that all the time. It's whatever, whatever works, as long as you're the last guy standing, that's, that's what counts. I do think, though, that um, systems kind of pigeonholes us. Mm -hmm. So if, if we do Taekwondo and we fight with our hands down all the time because that's the way the tournaments are, yeah. right? We don't throw the punches. Not that's not us. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Bump in the chest, throw the kick. Um, hey, um, no, no disrespect. It's just the rules. That's all it is. Yeah. The rules create that, mm -hmm. creates that system. But what ends up happening probably is that in real life, we tend to fight the way we train or the way, what, what we're used to. Yeah. And so I think that <clears throat> even though you might say, I can do this this way when I'm in that situation, if you don't train it, mm -hmm. it's probably not going to happen. It's got to be second nature in regards to self-defense. So, you know, it's like if you do MMA, well, you're, it's a certain way of fighting because you're in, you're in, you're in a cage. Yeah. And so it creates a certain environment. It, it makes you do certain things that maybe you wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. Like what? Well, obviously, if you're in a cage, you can use the cage to help, help you. Right. The person that can't escape, that's a good, there's a good probability that you're going to get clinched. Right. As opposed to running away. That's what I would be doing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> running away. Um, that's why we do lots of running. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Run away. If we only do it for the sport, right? Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna behave in that way. Yeah. I would say like, like wrestlers. Wrestlers are really good wrestlers, but there are certain techniques that are not allowed. I, like a full Nelson. You can do a half Nelson, but you can't do a full Nelson. Mm -hmm. Now, <clears throat> that means that if a wrestler got into a, a, you know, let's say a street fight or something, he's, even though he knows he could do a full Nelson, but because he's always doing the half Nelson, the probability of him doing the full Nelson is probably not high. It's because it's the way they train. Mm -hmm. So if we want to do certain things, then we got to train it. If I, if I only go to a tournament so it only allows me to kick and I, I can't punch, that's okay. That's great for the tournament, and that's fine. If I, or like for us, mm -hmm. kick, the kicks have to be above the belt. That means we can't kick below the belt. So, um, and that's what happens in, in the tournaments. 
But if you want to practice kicking to the low section, you got to practice it. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. And that means you, you would have to do, you kind of have to go, okay, we're going to have a competition where you can kick any part of the body. Right. Well, okay, so going back to your story before of what you're watching, the guy threw dirt. But we can't be going and throwing dirt. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be going and throwing dirt in front of people's face all the time. So is there a better way about going about this? <laughs> when we're trying to think outside the box, right? Or maybe like you're thinking about home invasion. Someone comes into your house, what do you do? You don't have a knife, you don't have a bat. Um, you might think maybe grab some pans. Right. right. But, but yeah. I can't simulate that all the time. No, and that, that, is, that is probably true. But I think um, if you, I think the, the brain is an amazing tool. And we can kind of trick the brain in a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like shooting, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I think like police, I know some ranges don't allow you to put silhouettes. Yeah. Like a person. Okay. You can only have a bullseye. Yeah. I guess the silhouette is a little too aggressive. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. So why put a, a silhouette? Well, the, it kind of simulates a, a person. Yeah. And then I've seen targets where it could be a little boy holding mm -hmm. a pistol or it could be a good looking young lady holding oh, an old guy, mm -hmm. you know, and right. that's the target. And so why do they do that? It's, it's to simulate. This is your threat. This is what you're going to see. Because in real life, your brain doesn't, real, doesn't really distinguish between tr your training and what you're doing. So if you simulate something, then you're automatically going to respond probably in that way. Mm -hmm. And so if we take that same concept where if I imagine or if I talk out a scenario, I'm more a, I'm probably more likely to be able to respond to that. And there was a, a, um, a test on this. Uh, I, I share this all the time. They got a bunch of guys that play basketball. Mm -hmm. And they got five guys. You go, we want you to sit in this room, watch TV, eat, yeah. joke around, whatever you want. And then they took another five guys and go, we want you to take this basketball, go to the court and practice playing mm -hmm. the game. And then they, they took another group of guys and they go, okay, we want you to discuss and talk about the game. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, they, they got them to play a little scrimmage. Yeah. Well, obviously the guys that just sat around and didn't practice, yeah. they lost. Wow, well, yeah, of course. But what they did find was that the guys that talked about playing the game and the guys that played the game were pretty close. Hmm. Even though at the actual practice, was, they were a little bit better, yeah. but they were very close. Mm -hmm. And so what does that say? What it says is that if I can talk about it, go through certain scenarios, I have a good chance of responding in, the, in that way. Right. Okay, so I do that all the time. I see a guy and go, okay, what am I going to do? If I'm going to get attacked by this guy, what am I going to do? Right. How am I going to handle him? Right. And, you're, and so you kind of prepare yourself in that way. So you think about, like, if I'm on the, <laughs> someone that said this, he says, this is why you need to know jujitsu. You're, gonna, you're on, the, on the ground. What are you going to do? And I wrote back to him, I'm going to pull my knife out and cut him. <laughs> yeah. He didn't have anything else to say. Right. I mean, what else are you going to do? Yeah, not much else. I, don't, I mean, but you have to be prepared for that. Right. Right? You better have to have a knife. I mean, if you didn't have one, then you better have some other method of getting out of that submission. Yeah. Right. So, got to have a plan. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Well, you know, and that brings up another good point because sometimes in your head you think something's a good idea, but then at this boat, then when you actually try it, it doesn't pan out too much. Yeah, and you go, ooh, that was... That was awful. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, my... That's why I was saying that um, you know, when I was your age, my idea of self-defense, like a knife defense, is definitely different than it is today. Yeah. And that's only because of experience and trying certain things mm -hmm. and realizing, oh, that doesn't work. Yeah. And, and that's why training is really um, important mm -hmm. because it does ex 
helps you experiment with that. I, and that's kind of what I think about like one step sparring is a good way to see how I can move around an individual. Someone's attacking. If I move this way, this way or whatever, and I use this technique or this technique, does yeah. that work? And some techniques work and some don't. Right. And then, so <clears throat> if you know that it doesn't work, then don't practice that. Don't do that, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we make those mistakes in the, in the studio and not on, for, you know, self-defense. You don't want to make those same mistakes. So training is important. That's why you want to train. Um, try different things mm -hmm. different, so that you, your body can respond properly. Right. Let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to be safe. Keep training. I'll see you guys next time. Take one.